Hey guys, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels, and welcome to part three of our packing series. What goes in Kevin's backpack? We're back and we have Frank's planogram for Kevin's backpack. And he's gonna tell us what goes in his backpack and pretty much how he packs it. You've already seen my tote and now it's his turn. So, what have you got on the table? Because we're slowly bringing it all down from the travel spare room to prove to you that everything up there is going to get packed in four pieces of luggage. It's too much crap. I know it is. It's crazy. But, you know, it's pretty much, from what I see, money and electronics. Yeah, I carry the expensive stuff. <laughs> um, for people that are traveling with someone in a wheelchair that needs to be pushed, or I generally push Frank because it's just quicker and easier, I suggest a backpack. And uh, even though I suggest a backpack, <laughs> I got this at Target, uh, one of my favorite places, and, you know, Scotty, Scotty and I, you know, Scotty from uh, Scott Singer Cruises. Cruises, him and I have a passion for Target, <laughs> <laughs> and I was in Target one day, and I don't even know why I was in the baby section, but this is a, who is this, Eddie Bauer? Is Eddie Bauer. Diaper bag. Diaper bag. And it actually, but it's a bag. It's a bag it's a backpack. backpack. But it came with, inside we pulled out the quilted mat that you would put your baby on to change a diaper. But it's got all kinds of pockets. Right. And, and I wish I could show you the inside, but it uh, might be a little difficult. And it's outside. got an outside and it's got a pocket here. It's got pockets all over the place. So it was perfect for us. So just because it's in the baby department, is he... Uh, diaper bag backpack wherever you find it if it suits your needs you buy it so when I'm packing I start with big stuff and get a base going so the first thing I have is this it's a hard shell case uh, and for those of you that don't know what this would be in here it's stuff that you generally I gotta get this thing out of my way putting this in my lap I'll show you that it's all packed in a minute uh, but this is um, behind the scenes stuff at yeah. Cruising with Wheels. We got our manuals, but it is wireless microphones. It's our body mics that we use. And why do we take wireless microphones? Because you never know if we are going to be doing interviews or um, uh, outside. Outside, it, the, the shotgun mic doesn't always right. work. Because with all the uh, guests on board, the talking, the wind, the breeze. Uh, we need our body mics on uh, or you're never going to hear us. So that goes in the bag. And when I put it in my backpack, I put it in vertically. And I put it in vertically because everything fits perfectly. But I put it in vertically so that it's hard up against my back and then I can, you know, position things around right. it. So yeah, so I it would be crazy to have yeah. uh, small little things gathering and lumped on your back and now you got a nice smooth surface. And the next thing I put in is our camera. Now I have another hard shell case. It's for a GoPro, but um, I wasn't happy with the GoPro. Sadly, no. We're, we're going to be trying a new camera on this upcoming cruise um, that we're being sponsored by a company. They want us to test it right. for them. Gonna send we're us. not going to tell you who it is. You're going to have to wait till we're on the cruise. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, it's similar to a GoPro, but it's a different system. And uh, inside this hard shell case, um, I will have the camera but that we're, we're using, using it now. <laughs> And um, and uh, charging cords for the camera and all sorts of little things that go along with the camera. But um, I usually have that zipped. 
And that will be the bottom hard shell portion. Does it fit in here? Yes, it does, because you have a very, um, I don't want to say wide bottom, but you do. Hey, be careful. <laughs> so now that's in there. And okay. um, it's now standing now up Now it nicely. stands up yes. and it has a base to it. Cool. So the next thing that I probably put in there, what's in here? Now this is Kevin's DOP kit. Yes, again, D-O-P-P -P DOP. What do I have in this? And oh, so in my DOP kit I have Q-tips, uh, tooth floss, deodorant, Tylenol, and then this little case which is for testing um, my for my diabetes, like his little diabetic monitor, and, and it's a cute little zipper case. I don't uh, even know where we got this, but it's a Samsonite. It is a Samsonite case that, again, we had in the closet that we had used for something else that we had purchased that we no longer <coughs> buy. But I keep the case, and it has now become Kevin's. So I'm sure you're noticing a little bit of a trend, but this is going in the bag. Uh, I'm sure you're noticing a trend with little bags, boxes, uh, packing cubes, whatever you use. Right. We believe in having... Containers within containers. Yeah, because it's just easier to pack and then you can move things around. I mean, there are people that they will just unzip the tote and just loosely throw everything in. So the next thing I put in is in an old set of luggage that I had was this thingy. And it was like supposed to be for a dop kit, but it's waterproof and it zippers and it's flexible. Nice. So I can get different stuff in it. But in here I have um, our power cube, which is awesome -ass. We'll show you. <laughs> I have this power cube and it plugs into one outlet. If um, you want to take a look at some of our cabin tours, you'll see that most of the cabins will have just one outlet. So this, you plug it into that one outlet and you've got one, two, three, four, five different things that you can plug in to that. And then we also bring this. It's kind of cool. We like this one the best. It like pops out like that on it. the back. And you can plug two things in and two USBs. So we'll plug this in and then we'll plug this into that. And then we get even more right. things that we can plug in. Now, a lot of you might need not need this stuff, but because we do filming and we're cruising with wheels and we have a lot of electronics, we need all this stuff. Uh, and again, on the, on the, uh, the ships, you're going to find now more outlets and more USB ports than you probably ever saw before on cruise ships. So also in this bag is um, some little pluggy things that we need for uh, my iPhone and for this, which is our digital hard drive. Um, this is how we store all of our video footage, photos, menus, food pictures. I mean, you name it, everything's on here eventually. Um, so we have the cords and the plugs and the uh, outlets for that and then I have this is my favorite this is <laughs> he thinks it's so stupid but it's by Pelican <laughs> whatever makes you happy well I love it because it is water I actually like it too it's waterproof it's hard case for all of our SD cards nice. now one of the things that we always say bring extra SD cards. You don't know how many times we've had malfunctions. I know, and let me tell you, you can buy them on the ship in the photo gallery. Yeah, but I was surprised they had them. I know they but did. But they were expensive. Expensive. We're always looking for the sales and the I deal. I want the deal. So anyways, I take this and then I fold oh, it. So again, it's plastic and you can fold it, put as much in it as you want to make it large, or as little as you want and fold it. So it's And this you... bag, by the time I'm done with it, is stuffed to the hill. It is. So I wanted to talk to you, and we're not gonna put this in today, um, into the bag, because I haven't figured out where I wanna put this yet. Because it's it? a little bit different. Now y'all know that we love our uh, little charging stick that we charge up before we leave. Charging stick for? Uh, it's for my cell phone. Oh, okay. I can use it for the camera. I can use it for anything that has a USB. Oh, cool. Um, a power stick. Nice. But we have had this for yeah, quite a while. A zillion years. Yeah. And 
Sadly, it's not holding a charge anymore. Yeah, I think it's hit its day. It's service bird. It doesn't always say anything. So, drum roll, please. <gasps> we have the new Pocket Juice. <laughs> Pocket Juice Portable Charger that I picked up at, of all places, JC Penois. Oh, JC Penny. JC Penny's. I got this. I had, oh, let's see. I think it was $20. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, a 50% off coupon. <laughs> so that brought it to $10. Of course we did. And then I had a $10 reward. So what did that mean? It means it was free, nice. but I had to pay the taxes on it. So I had to pay, I think, $0.80. Cents. That's okay. But it is good for three, up to three charges um, for my iPhone. I just have to take it out of the packaging, charge it up, and figure out where in my little bag of tricks I'm going to put right. it. I might actually, because I am constantly uh, vlogging when we, the reason uh, right now we're filming on our good camera, um, and uh, when we're traveling on travel day, this camera that we're filming on is packed in here all the way on the bottom. So I vlog with my iPhone, so I'm always having to charge it. Right. Uh, on the plane, when we get into the airport, when we're waiting for the car, when we're in the car, wh whatever. I'm always charging it. So I think there's this little mesh pocket here. I might just shove it in there, mm -hmm. um, but I have to think about that because I don't want anybody I, to again, take it. What did me. I say in, in the previous video? It's a process. It's a process. And you're always kind of juggling uh, and things change. We didn't have this last time, but right. now we do. And it's and it's a little shaped differently. Right. Before, I have a pocket in my sweatshirt that this fits perfectly into. So I don't even have to take it out. It's just here and I go, boop, and I plug it in. But we're, we're going to say goodbye to this. Bye-bye. Toss. Da, 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 da. Anyways, uh, and I'm going to set this aside until we decide where to get it. But it will be in my backpack. Awesome. Uh, the next thing I probably would pack is this little thing. Where did I get it's this? It's a neoprene. It's neoprene and it's got a little thing that says power trip on the outside. And um, this is replacing another bag that I had. But it's a, it's a nice size bag. And all of our cords, which we don't have right now because they're charging things or they're running the camera or whatever they will go in here right. and there's all these little compartments. So all the charging cords or earbuds mm -hmm. or any little electrical cords are going to be contained that's in that little go neoprene in there. bag. Yeah, that's now, nice. probably the next thing I would pack would be this. And this is my Sonicare toothbrush. I am a big baby. <laughs> I do not like manual toothbrushes. I don't feel like my Mouth gets right. clean. He brings I, I, I bring a manual toothbrush. I suck. I'm going to suck it up for seven days. I do not bring my electric Sonic Air, but he wants his, and good for him. And he's got a nice little travel carrying pouch for it. So right. So that good. goes in there. And, and you know what? Uh, he has no issues, uh, and it's great. So the next thing. Oh, look! I got a little damage. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Well, maybe in a couple of years we'll get an upgrade. But it took me too long to find this. So, um, anyways, the next thing will be our medicines. This is our medicine it's pouch. It's a travel medicine, medicine pouch. pouch. Yeah. And I want to just quickly open it. And um, it is all set up. I have set it up. We have uh, red for the morning and the blue side is for the night. And if you take it out, I have it... I stapled it down the center, and uh, I... We my, couldn't just get another one, no, one for no. me and one for my him. My pills are on the left side, Kevin's pills are on the right side, and each little one is dated for the date of each cruise, morning and night. So it's all in here, but I want to show you this little plastic container, this tiny little thing, um, has Kevin's... Um, uh, diabetic uh, pills that he takes um, and it's in a separate container because he keeps it in his little body man bag that goes with him 24 7 around the ship and in port and it, he has to take this at dinner time so this isn't really part of that 
which kind of stays in the cabin, mm -hmm. in the safe. This goes on his body, so to speak. Right. So that when we're at dinner, he pulls that out and it's labeled with his medicine on it. He has enough to get us through the cruise and maybe a little extra. And we do have a secondary one of these that we keep yeah. an extra supply of a couple of pills for Frank and a couple of pills for me. Uh, if we get stranded, if we get like stranded, or if we're uh, out late and we need, we lose a pill. Yeah, we lose a pill. So this and that other one, which I think is upstairs right now, would go in my little day bag. Yeah. But on travel day, I bring it with me because I might need to take it. You know, it involves take it dinner and food. So, so what do I gotta do with you? This will probably go in the side so I can have easy access to it because it's all about easy. And speaking of easy access. Well, we're going to talk about that in a minute. This is probably the most important thing, but I'll leave that to last. No, it's not the most important <laughs> thing. So this is the last thing that's going to go in my backpack. And this is my TSA bag. And This is um, Kevin's 311 uh, quart size bag. And it has his stuff in it. It has all it's, my things in it. And it's labeled it. like mine was. Mm -hmm. And so he puts it in a plastic bag. Uh, and then that will go in my TSA bag. Right. And it's my mouthwash, uh, anything tooth, liquid. Toothpaste, mouthwash, um, a body, lotion, body lotion, my cologne. And his uh, and a shaving uh, cream, a little thing of shaving cream. Zipped up and yeah. I put it in the top. And I put it in the top because even though we're TSA pre-check, sometimes they want to see what we have. So yeah. the last two things I always put in my bag are the medications and the uh, 311 bag. And the next thing I want to put in is oh. going to go on the outside. Outside for easy access. And so let me see if I can get this zipped. I and still I still have, have room. Still have room. I still have room. I could take more. So we'll have to talk. <laughs> we'll have to see. Maybe I will put my day bag in here. You know, normally I pack my day bag. Yeah. And, um, and and this, is, this is his day bag. This is what he has across his shoulders that he carries uh, when he's running around the ship when we're in port. Uh, stuff that, you know, we have to have with us. Camera, passports, money, gum, cell phone. Gum. Gum, gum, gum. gum. Um, but what I have next is uh, is my responsibility for caring right. and taking care of. And uh, I found this. That's crazy that you found it. Again at Scotty and I's favorite place, oh, you Target. Look I don't think it's about Target. I think it's about just shopping. <laughs> That's what I think it is. <laughs> but it's it's from Swiss Gear, and it's a little collapsible bag. Uh, this kind of set up like a shoulder, yeah, a shoulder kind of like tote. a shoulder tote. Yeah. Um, but it's unconstructed. You know what? This would be great to take on shore. It would be like a day bag. Yeah. Yeah. This would be great to take on shore with all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, but what we use it for is we have we, to use it for. We travel, as you know. Frank is in the wheelchair, and when he gets on the plane we own our own wheelchair so when he gets on the plane he's required to take the legs of the wheelchair off and you know the first couple of times i was carrying them i was throwing them in the thing now mind you they already we, uh, they've already got me to the seat but he has to deal with my tote bag his backpack uh, and the, these legs. And the carry-on luggage, the 21-inch carry-on. And now he's trying to juggle the legs of my wheelchair. So <laughs> this bag is the perfect size for the legs of our right. wheelchair. It sticks out a little bit, but that's all right. And, uh, and it comes on the plane with us. So they only take the, the main body of my wheelchair down into the luggage cargo and strap it down there. Uh, and the legs come off and they're in the plane with us because they don't want it to be damaged. And you know what? I think that's why we have extra space up here. Because that goes up at the here. top? Yeah, that goes up at the top. Um, and I won't put it in that pouch, but there's a little, um, like, little folder pouch thing inside this backpack that it'll go into. Now, the next item. Oh, we're winding down. The winding down. 
The next things that we have are our passports, mm -hmm. both of them, our money, our itinerary, my travel wallet, which I transfer all my things. I only bring whatever cards we've right. decided to bring and identification will go on our travel right. wallet. So his driver's license, the credit cards he's taking, that's it. This travel wallet I got at Marshall's is a travel on. I'll try to find something and link it in the description. It's RFD blocking, so they can't steal your information. And my point for showing you all of this stuff, okay, all this stuff goes into this. <laughs> Another favorite bag of his. You think I'm bad with containers when it comes to luggage and traveling? He's up there with me with his little pouches and things. So don't think it's all me. So now this one is, I can't remember, I think this is an American Tourister. I think it is. And it came from Walmart and it has um, four compartments. So it's got the compartment on the outside here, like a flap. I usually don't put anything in there because I'm terrified that it'll fall out. Then it has a zippered compartment here and, an, and a, a complete fold out opening here. With a pen. Well, I put the pen in it. I always travel with a pen. You never know when you're going to need it. We have lots of pens. And then an outside pocket. And I'm going to show you how I pack this. Because there's a specific way of and why I do what I do. Because, again, it's all about ease. So, in this goes in the, the one that doesn't open all the way. It has a gusset. It has a gusset. That goes in... Oh. That Where's goes that? in... Our passports go in there. Okay? Done. And the reason I put everything in the same spot is because I don't even know where it is. Because I would be saying, Frank, where's this? Frank, where's that? I'd be like, I don't know. It's, your, it's in your bag. Now, before we leave the house, first day travel will come out. Right? And first day travel money, I will put in the outside pocket. Why? Because then I don't have to go into the inside. And then my wallet, too, will go into the outside zippered pocket. Now, all our cash envelopes, as you can see, are labeled, computer labeled. He has first day travel available. Then we have a last day travel. Room steward, possible tip. Onshore cash purchases. And money for ship purchases and a hotel shuttle. So... All the cash he has. And that will go into the inside, fold it away, and then I take the itinerary, and that will be just placed in here because I might want to look at it. And then the special gum. Gum's got to be with me everywhere. I have very sensitive ears, and when we're on the plane, they pop, and I always got to be chewing gum all the time. Doesn't matter, I got to chew it at home too. And that goes in there, and then I squish it all together, zip it up. And there you go. And now I only have one thing that I have to go to. So a lot of times when we're in the airport, I just have this in my hand because I get very nervous, and I have it around my wrist. And I'm just carrying it. Right, because it's passports, wallet, cash, credit cards. But there is a spot on the outside flap that I put this. And I zip this little sucker up. And if it's in here, I'll tell you, once I get all this zipped up. Uh, oh, and I know what the other space is on the top. So now they're zipped up, and I'll lock these. I lock them because this is all our, I mean, this is all our valuables. I mean, and we use TSA locks. Right. And so the last things that go into here would be my keys because I'm never going to need them again. Right. We're parked at the airport and uh, on our way. And this little tile tracker, which we've talked about we before. We talked about that in my video of my tote. So normally, I didn't do it for the video because it's a little complicated because I have a lot of keys between the house and the salon and the car. And But I'll put this on the key ring 
and then it just gets dropped in here and I will have my cell phone in the top as well as my belt because then I don't have to worry about taking off a belt, putting my cell phone in, getting my keys out, getting chained, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, anything metal has to go in the in the uh, x-ray machine. Right. Now it's all right no here. No belt, no watch, no coins in your pocket. you got to take it all out, put it in the gray plastic tub, and roll it through the scanning machine uh, as you go through TSA security. But now it's all in here and it's done. There you go. The whole table is all in this wonderful chubby little backpack. Now once I get through security and once I made sure that I've got all my bags and I've done everything I'm supposed to do and Frank is done with his check. Now remember I'm on the other side being manhandled and molested by the TSA agents as they're swabbing me and patting me down. I will take my belt out put it on because I cannot walk around without a belt and I'll clip my phone on my I'm on my side. And it all gets kind of, we're all kind of back to normal as we get into the airport and uh, and off we go. Yeah, off we go to the gate. So, that's, that's my it. backpack. That's See, it all got in there. It is there. So don't say it can't be done, people, because we've already packed my tote and now we've packed Kevin's backpack. Wait until you see uh, the next video yes. of packing the 21-inch carry-on and we'll give you some tips about uh, packing and we we pretty much use all the different techniques yes. we use packing cubes folding uh, bundling stuffing <laughs> I don't know what else hiding hiding <laughs> uh, and uh, and we also will have a s another video too about the final the final one one about the 28 inch checked bag that's right the big what's one. in there and why we put what's in there so until next time that's right. We want you to travel safe and cruise often.